The University of Hawaii is celebrating a huge achievement as the school set another record for extramural funding. Yeah, Casey Lund live in Manoa this morning to talk about that $615 million. Casey. Yeah, good morning, guys. This is the third consecutive year that that extramural funding amount has been above a half a billion dollars. That's a, it's a big deal. And as you've heard throughout this morning, we've been talking uh, with people in all different uh, walks of study here, natural resources, language studies. Uh, we want to talk to, again, Vasilis Sirmos. He is the vice president for UH System and Research and Innovation. Good morning Good to morning, you. Thank Chief. you for being with us. Thank you. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, extramural funding for people that aren't in the world of academia. Uh, that is money like grants and things. And, and how is that uh, secured here? Yeah, so these are competitive grants and contracts that they come from outside the state into the university they're competitive and actually validate the good work that our faculty does in a lot of areas the amount 615 million dollars is not only the number but the number is very important it shows how good our faculty is it shows what a great work we do as an institution and how they trust us we had uh, Senator Brian Shasson, and I think he put that into perspective. Uh, he has to feel good about going to uh, the executive agencies, um, going to fellow lawmakers, when he has to make the case for UH and why he deserves this money, why it's money well spent. Are there some projects that stick out to you that, that really speak to that, that are able to attract money like that? Yes, and give you an example, some projects that are of national interest but local impact. Uh, the university was just contracted to do the Red Hill Health Registry for the Red Hill disaster. That was $30 million. Another one is sea level rise yeah. and climate change, alternative energy. These are federally funded projects that they have national interest but huge local impact. And when we have that kind of money that go toward research, I imagine that makes us more attractive, UH more attractive when it comes to uh, getting students in. Yeah, it makes the university be very attractive, being at the top tier of a research institution. Students look at that. So we want UH to be a university of choice, a university that people want to come and study here. That's what we've heard um, from the provost, that enrollment has been good over the last few years, and it looks like it's going to be good. Uh, yeah. Relatively yeah. quiet on campus, that's not going to be the case here in a little while. No, next week it's going to start up, and it's going to be crazy here, and it's going to be great for yeah. our students. The faculty staff is going to be a very vibrant place. It's always fun to be up here when things are buzzing, the students are getting back, football season's going on, and everybody's uh, coming back to UH Mono. It's such a special place. It is a special Say thank you thank so you. much. This is Siramos with us, the UH System Vice President for Research and Innovation. A big uh, announcement, a big piece of news here that uh, they continue to be able to meet those goals and break them, uh, raising those extramural funds. We'll send things back into the studio for now.